Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Watkins. Up first tonight, the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan are taking a dangerous toll on New Jersey's police departments. What's the connection? Peter Thorne is live in Hoboken with the answer. Peter? And it is a beautiful weekend night in Hoboken on Hudson Place and Hudson Street. The restaurants are open. As the night progresses, they'll be crowding up for sure. But I'm not out here tonight to talk to you about the ambiance, nice as it is. I'm here because police and towns all over New Jersey are facing a problem, an ammunition shortage, not enough bullets. And here's the reason why. America at war, including Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya. It's being felt on the home front in a whole new way. Ammunition supply problems for local law enforcement. There has been a backlog in orders for ammunition, mostly being used by the departments for their required twice a year qualification with the firearms. With the Pentagon scooping up massive amounts of available ammunition, municipalities in New Jersey are scrambling to make sure they have adequate stockpiles of ammo for officers in the street and for training purposes. And so far, they're managing their resources very well. They have available ammunition. They have it. They're able to arm their officers. They're able to qualify. And as the wars make supplies tight, the cost per bullet increases too. So does the wait time for new orders. I'm told as a resort, some local police departments in New Jersey are stockpiling and or sharing bullets. All the officers are fully armed, fully ready to go. Tonight, he told me recently ammunition prices have surged from 15 to 30 percent. Meantime, in other crime-fighting news, Newark Mayor Cory Booker told a gathering today, expect strict curfew enforcement in Newark this summer and a more visible police presence despite cutbacks. And I'm told that when it comes to ordering ammunition, it can take six months to a year right now to get that order filled. Reporting live tonight from Hoboken, New Jersey, I'm Peter Thorne, PIX11 News. Jim, back to you. All right, Peter, thank you. Well, uh, here's some.